Hello and welcome to today's Saturday edition of Dwelling in the Word. Today we're going to be hearing from the Word of God in Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 through 10. Let's dive right in. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these things, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourself with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator, the word of God. I hope you notice this really, to my mind, goes way beyond the idea that I need to work on that. I have room for improvement. I have room to grow in that kind of language that we sometimes use. The word of God here says, put it to death, kill it. Sin and sinful impulses can be like weeds in our lives. You kill them, you pull them out, you think you've got the roots and all, and somehow they keep coming back and popping up out of the soil of your soul. And when they do, and for most of us, if not all of us, they will do like you do in your yard and in your garden and put it to death again. Eliminate the sin weeds in the soil of your life and give attention to when they pop up and go get them again. Maybe the better metaphor for you is the way we spray pesticides around our houses in order to to kill the roaches and other pesky insects and to keep them out of our homes and out of our lives. A few weeks, a few months pass by and lo and behold, there they are again if you have not done your diligence to do it again. And so we have to take action again and again. Our baptized life in Christ will be no different. We will find ourselves having to put to death the earthly thoughts and impulses and the habits that flow out of these things again and again in our lives. But again, my prayer for you is to hear the word of God. This isn't something that we just think about. Well, it's not that big of a deal. I'll do it when I get around to it. Or again, I've got room for improvement. I need to be working on this. The word of God is adamant. Put to death whatever belongs. Get rid of all such things as these. And I want to encourage you to to take seriously whatever in that list that you know is a weed in the soil of your soul today that you need to do something about it. Get after it. Put it to death, eliminate it from your life so that you can, as this passage goes on to explain, put on all of the beautiful things of above that God wants you to know and experience. Get rid of the old stuff, the ugly stuff, the junky stuff, the weedy, rotten stuff that you were part of before you came to know Jesus. And now that you've come to know Jesus, put on the good stuff that is from above. And you, I say it again, will look good to yourself, to the world around you, the people that know and love you. And certainly above all, you will look beautiful and incredible in the eyes of our God who loves you more than anything 
beyond what we can imagine. He loves us and he wants you to have the best that you can have. And so get rid of all the junky stuff so that you can receive and put on the things that God wants you to know and to have in Christ Jesus, our Lord.